Hey everyone, this is Homepagerizer, and it's a tool to make very simple homepages for yourself. Really just a collection of bookmarks. At the top here we have controls for editing and adding links, then we have ways to customize the colors and the font, and then the preview of what your page is going to look like. So let's make our first change. We'll customize this link to be google.com, and we'll set a keyboard shortcut of G for it. And as expected, the preview now reflects that single link that we have. If we were to download this home page, what we'll see is exactly that, just one link, and when we press G, it will navigate to Google. The nice thing about having this be your home page is that if you click the home button in your browser, you'll get to it. This is my personal home page that I've already customized off screen. And what I like about this over bookmarks is that it's a spatial view of everything that you have. So you get very accustomed to where things are and I can open up my social media sites if I want to by just middle clicking them. And I could also use keyboard shortcuts to go there too. So for example, if I want to go check my mail, I would typically open a new tab, go to my homepage, press M, and I would do that all very quickly. And I think that's pretty convenient. The other thing that's super convenient about this is if you ever want to make changes to it. So let's say I wanted to move this row of links that has Twitch at the beginning up to the top. I could just click edit homepage and just make that change. And I could even rearrange links within this row just by dragging them. I could delete them as well. And then when I'm done, I just click save. And there is my updated homepage with the Twitch row at the top. The one thing to note about all of this is that it's generating HTML files. It is not hosting these homepages for you. So in order for me to use my own homepage, I just saved it on my hard drive and I'm loading that up. This tool is completely free to use. It's also open source. Feel free to modify it. It's MIT licensed. So I hope you'll check it out and thanks for watching this video.